Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve two section C questions from Circles chapter, which had appeared in CBSC Board Exam 2025. So let us start with the first question now. In the given figure, O is the center of the circle and BCD is a tangent to it at point C. Prove that angle BAC plus angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. Now here we can see that we have been given a circle with center O and there is a tangent touching the circle at point C and here we have been asked to prove that angle BAC plus angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. So let us begin by considering this small triangle OAC inside the circle. So let me highlight it here. Now in this triangle OAC we can say that the side OA is equal to the side OC because OA and OC both are the radii of the same circle. So angle OAC will be equal to angle OCA because the angle opposite to the two equal sides will be also equal. So here we have written consider the triangle OAC. So side OC will be equal to OA that is radii of the same circle. So angle OCA will be equal to angle OAC. Angles opposite to the equal sides are equal because now this forms an isosceles triangle whose two sides are equal. Now once we have got this, let us focus on this radius OC and the tangent BCD. Now according to the radius tangent theorem, we know that the radius always makes a 90 degree angle to the point on the tangent which is touching it. So here the radius OC makes an angle of 90 degree with the tangent BCD at point C. So this means that angle OCD will be equal to 90 degrees. So here we have written radius OC is perpendicular or is at 90 degrees to the tangent BCD by radius tangent theorem. Therefore angle OCD will be equal to 90 degrees. Now once we have got this, we can see that angle OCD is made up of two angles that is angle OCA that is this angle and angle ACD that is this angle. So here we have angle OCA plus angle ACD will be equal to angle OCD but we know that angle OCD is 90 degrees. So here we have written angle OCA plus angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. Now here in the question we have to prove that angle BAC plus angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. Now we have got these two parts that is angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. Now let us focus on getting angle BAC. So here we have written angle OCA that is this angle is equal to angle OAC from this isosceles triangle. So in place of OCA we have written angle OAC plus angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. Now here we can see that BPOA is a straight line. So we can easily write angle OAC as angle PAC or angle BAC. So replacing angle OAC as BAC, we get here angle BAC plus angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. So this is our answer and we have proved it. Now let us move on to the OR question. Prove that opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle subtend supplementary angles at the center of the circle. So let us try to understand this question by drawing a rough figure first. So here it is given that a quadrilateral is circumscribing a circle. So this means that within this quadrilateral ABCD there is a circle with center O and this is circumscribed in such a way that this circle touches this quadrilateral at points P, Q, R and S. So now we can say that APB, BQC, CRD and ASD act as tangents to the circle touching the circle at points P, Q, R and S. Now they have given that the opposite sides of the quadrilateral subtend which means they make supplementary angles. Supplementary angles means 180 degrees at the center of the circle. So for example if we take the side CD and the side AB, they both are opposite sides of this quadrilateral. So according to the given statement, the angle made by the side CD at point O and the angle made by the side AB 
at point O. So when we add these two opposite angles, it should give us 180 degrees. Similarly, the angle made by the side BC at center of the circle at point O, when we add it with the angle made by the side opposite to the side BC, that is AD, at the center of the circle at point O. So when we add these two opposite angles, we should get 180 degrees. So once we have understood this question, let us focus on the small quadrilateral within this big quadrilateral, that is ASOP. Now we have highlighted this small quadrilateral and we have joined the points OA. Now here, this line OA divides this entire quadrilateral into two triangles, that is triangle AOP and triangle AOS. Now these two triangles are going to be congruent because the side OS is going to be equal to the side OP because these both sides are the radii of the same circle. The side OA is going to be equal to side OA because this is a common side and the side AS will be equal to the side AP because AS and AP acts as tangents to the circle at point S and point P coming from the same external point A. So according to the two tangent theorem, the lengths of the tangents to a given circle from a given external point will be equal. Now since all the three sides are equal in both of these triangles, angle A will be equal to angle A, angle S that is 90 degrees because this is a radius and this is a tangent. So according to radius tangent theorem, the radius makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent. So angle OSA is 90 and angle OPA will be also 90 with the same radius tangent theorem and angle O will be equal to angle O. So this makes the triangle OAP congruent to triangle OSA. So let us write here. So here triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OAS. Now here we have marked all the angles made at the center of the circle as angle 1, 2, 3, 4, so on till angle 8. So from these two triangles we can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because these two triangles are congruent. Similarly, if we take this small quadrilateral ORDS, we can say that these two triangles are congruent using the same reasons we applied over here. So angle 3 will be equal to angle 4, angle 5 will be equal to angle 6 from this quadrilateral and finally angle 7 will be equal to angle 8. Now once we have got this, let us add all the angles made at the center of the circle and when we add all these angles, it will give us 360 degrees. So here, adding all the angles, we get it equal to 360 degrees. Now since we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 2, we are going to replace angle 2 by angle 1 because we are focusing on these angles and these two angles first. So I am going to replace angle 2 by angle 1, angle 3 by angle 4, angle 6 by angle 5, and angle 7 by angle 8. So we get each of these angles twice equal to 360 degrees. Now taking the 2 as a common factor out, we have written 2 times angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 8 equal to 360 degrees. Now dividing both the sides by 2, so we are going to divide this by 2 and this also by 2, we get angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 8 is equal to 360 divided by 2 gives us 180. Now here angle 1 plus angle 8 we can see that they will add up to give us angle AOB and angle 4 and angle 5 when you add them up together we get angle COD. So let us write here angle AOB plus angle COD is equal to 180 degrees. Similarly, we can also say that angle BOC plus angle AOD is equal to 180 degrees. So if you want to get these two angles, you have to replace angle 1 by angle 2, angle 4 by angle 3, angle 5 by angle 6 and angle 8 by angle 7. So if you show this once, that would be enough. So you can just write it as similarly, these two angles when you add them together, you will get it equal to 180 degrees. So we have proved that the opposite sides of a given quadrilateral circumscribing a circle makes supplementary angles at the center of the circle. So this is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. 
And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.